Hello, I am Super Orange Cat, and here I am today with my ranking of the top five events of Toonami in 2019. Overall, I thought Toonami had a pretty decent year for the block with its high moments and with its low moments. But today, I just want to look into and reflect back on what I thought were the five best things to happen to the block in this year. So let's start with what I thought the fifth best thing of this year was, and I believed it was the acquisition of Lupin the Third Part 5. Now, it's kind of, like I've always mentioned, it's a show that's never going to be a ratings darling, but it's one of those shows that just gets completely overlooked, while most of the shows in Toonami are shown in or follow this, like, general shown in pattern. Loop on the Third is a bit different. It's more of a spy thriller type pattern with the show, and it has really good characters. Lupin is always endearing. Fujiko Mine, Fujiko Mine is always a great character, too. And also, you have Ami Anon, who showed up this season, who I thought was a really good character, especially for what they asked her to do, especially the whole being socially awkward aspect of her, her not understanding social context. Well, I thought played her really well as a character, and I like that she even, she even got some development as time went on. And again, very good show. It started, I believe, in like the middle of the summer and ended just a week or two ago. Very good show. Kind of flew under everyone's radar, but I still thought it was a pretty good program. Now, the fourth best thing I thought of Tanami this season was the acquisition of JoJo Part 5 Golden Wind. It is something I've been begging for for a while. I believe earlier this year, I'm not 100% sure on the timing, Diamond is Unbreakable ended on the block. And it was a bit of a wait to get Part 5 dubbed from Viz. Viz is very notorious for being sub getting slow getting to dubbing stuff. Sorry for that slip up there. And again, so far so good with Golden Wind. Really holding up well among the jo better JoJo's. And I really think, I'm really optimistic to see where the story, story goes for the show going into 2020. And I'm optimistic for it. So now the third best thing about Toonami in 2019 was the stylistic change at the end of the Total Immersion event, which was named The Forge. And I've already got a video about this from not that long ago. In short, I kind of didn't like the old one. The green on green was kind of overdone. And everyone tries using that four screen when they try to be technological or futuristic. It was kind of boring and definitely by now had gotten stale. But this current format I really, really loved. Because, like I mentioned earlier, the colors just remind of that me of that vaporwave tra tr like trend from a few years ago. And just like reminds me of a time, or I wasn't alive then, but kind of like back in the late 80s, early 90s, when anime was kind of starting to become this niche thing in the United States, where you had like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, stuff like that really kind of ending up on VCR and the VHS tapes, you know, and some people. Kind of this like underground fascination that you can't really tell your friends because it's hard to explain why this 15-year-old boy is taking orders from a 600-year-old baby. So, I mean, and it just really... And also, I just love the mauve and light blue colors, too. I think it was a great change, and I'm really happy to see it, and I really look forward to seeing it through probably all of 2020 since it's already been announced that a tunnel immersion event is not coming for a long time, so... Maybe that's a good thing because of the style, you know. Now, the second best thing to happen this year was the, unfortunately, mostly now forgotten Sword Art Online Alicization glitch. From some context for you, if you don't know what this is, the seventh episode of Sword Art Online Alicization aired sometime, I think, last March. And what happened is that this scene that you're seeing right here is when Asuka and the female scientist that they knew from the first Sword Art Online were going to like this like secret military installation called the Turtle, and like they're doing experiments to like create self sentient AI. And at this point was when the guy had cloned own his cloned his own memories into a file onto the computer, and he was interacting with it. And this exact moment was when the AI was realizing that he's not real. He was starting to freak out. So for like a brief moment, it looked like something that actually fit with the show until he waited a few seconds and realized that the show had just froze at this point. It's never been officially confirmed what caused this, but it's generally assumed that Aniplex, which 
did the dubbing for Sword Online Alicization, messed around, messed up their own files, and was issue on their part, not with Toonami's part. But what I distinctly remember was how they hit this moment, froze for like 30, 40 seconds, cut to commercial, with all the bumpers interstitials between being completely fine, came back three minutes later on this frame, waited about another 15 to 20 seconds, went back to commercials, and then because things weren't working out, they abandoned it and decided to air the episode of Megalobox, which was immediately supposed to be immediately after this, and like at like 11.45, so like 15 minutes before it should have, which would have been just kind of like a uh, bad moment. However, it wasn't for the fact that that was actually the season finale of Megalobox. So it was not only like you just like, oh, just throw the next show in there. It was a very important episode of the next show, which threw a lot of people off. But then when it got to actual midnight, Toonami decided just to restart that episode of Megalobox from there. And I think the next week we had a double airing of Sword Online. We had this episode and then episode 8, the episode after that later. So that was pretty interesting, pretty hilarious. And I really wish that memes really took off with this. I didn't really see any memes come up with this kind of gag in there. With the still shot, because this still shot, it looks like you can put anything on like the screen and make it look funny. You know, it seems like the type of thing that was prime bait for memes, but... Unfortunately, that didn't tick off, but I thought it was pretty hysterical. A lot of people are freaking out online about it, and I just really love this type of chaos, which is why it made it so high on this list for me. So, that was the second best moment of 2019, and if you followed me, if you've paid attention to much of my Tsunami content, it is going to be absolutely no surprise with the number one show of this year, number one instance, I already spoiled it a bit, number one best event of 2019 on Tsunami was, it was the picking up of the promised Neverland, far and away the best anime of 2019 in my opinion. I can just go on and on for hours, or at least minutes, about just everything that this show does right. And I don't want to go into much details because I don't want to spoil it, but literally watch it if you haven't watched the promised neverland yet watch it and if you've paid attention to the news you know that next october we'll be getting season two of the promised neverland subbed in japan which means tanami will probably get it sometime early 2021 but again and i've i'll admit i was curious so i peeked ahead at the next few chapters of the manga and if the anime even just holds a candle to the manga then we are in for an amazing second season. And I'm just absolutely ecstatic for it. I can go on and on about all the characters. I can go on and on about the setting, about the tone, about every little thing this show does right. And again, best moment of 2019. I think it got announced like in January. So it's pretty interesting that one of the first announcements Tanami made in 2019 ends up being its best. But again, a great announcement. What I thought was overall a pretty good year for Tanami. What are your guys' opinions? What do you think the best Tanami moment of 2019 was? Leave your comments down below. If you like this content, if you want more Tanami content like this, please like this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification button. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.